Okay, so if you guys haven't seen it, I have a video posted on my channel on how to trade options on Fidelity. Um, this is going to be a similar video, but we're going to go over TD Ameritrade. Uh, so this is their classic view of their website. And this is just the general overview, my account position. So if you go here and then click on positions, that is where we are at. Um, so let's jump into this real quick. If you guys don't know um, the terms like open and close, uh, sell to open, sell to close, buy to open, buy to close, if you don't know what those mean, you're going to be totally lost when you trade options. Robinhood makes it super easy, almost too easy, uh, in my opinion, the legacy brokers. Um, still kind of do it the old-fashioned way and I like that it forces you to actually know what everything means so if you don't understand these terms um, Google them uh, they're pretty straightforward uh, once you kind of wrap your mind around them so I'm not gonna go super in-depth about all those terms today I'm just gonna show you the actual function of how this works in TD Ameritrade um, so we're gonna go to trade and trade options and here is what this order ticket looks like um, a little overwhelming at first perhaps uh, but you just go through them one at a time so let's say we're gonna buy a call on Microsoft I'm gonna go ahead and put in Microsoft right there we can go uh, and do this two ways so we can jump in an option chain say we want to go out of the money so you can click on bid ask uh, on both calls and puts so we want to buy a call so we're gonna jump over here towards the ask uh, and we pick the 300 strike we'll just take one of those so you can see right here you can just read it straight buy to open one contract expiring today the 25th the $300 strike and it's a call and then right down here you can do the price uh, you have the bid ask right there I don't want this to actually fill so I'm gonna do 0.05 um, and I'm gonna hit place order and so this jumps you into the order status page um, which again is under trade so if we go order status you'll see that sitting right there I don't want this to actually fill so I'm gonna do cancel there it goes okay so now that that is done, that is a buy to open. Okay, so now let's say that you have that order open. So you just bought to open that $300 Microsoft call, and now you want to close it. So same thing, and this is kind of a pain doing it in here. Um, TD Ameritrade, it's definitely set up a lot less for day trading. Um, obviously, you can use the Thinkorswim platform, and I'm going to make a video uh, right after this one on... Uh, TD's next gen web platform which is way better suited for day trading and I'll show you exactly how I'm using that so that's what I've been using uh, for the last month and a half and I actually love it um, I started on this website absolutely hated it um, but I switched over there so if you guys are interested in day trading options uh, on TD Ameritrade I highly recommend checking that video out anyway okay so let's say we now want to sell to close that $300 strike um, we're just going to reverse exactly what we did. So same expiration, same call, limit. Okay, now we want to sell it for $5. Okay, because we just made a bunch of money on it. Okay, so same thing. Sell to close, one contract, and you pick the exact expiration, the same strike, because it's the same contract, okay? So really, this isn't any different from what you do on Robinhood or anywhere else. You just need to understand buy to open, buy to close, sell to open, sell to close, okay? So conversely, if we wanted to sell a put, um, let's say we want to sell a put, you just go through sell to open because you're opening a new position. Okay, sell to open, one contract, pick your expiration date, pick your strike, pick the type of contract, and then you can put in a price. You can see the bid ask here. Um, let's say you just want to split it, 460. Not actually going to do this. Um, and boom, you place order, and that will sell to open. Okay, and then to close out of that one, um, let's say that Microsoft moves up to $305 a share or whatever. Um, to close it, you're now going to buy to close. So when you originally sell to open, um, to exit that position, you need to do the opposite. So you're going to buy to close. Uh, same thing, you're going to pick that expiration, same strike, because it's the same contract. And now this is going to be worth like two bucks. Um, so you're going to collect that $260 premium. Okay. So I know I kind of blazed through this stuff, and like I said, I didn't really jump into what all of this stuff means, but um, when you're entering a position, you're going to open. So you're either going to buy to open or sell to open. When you're exiting a position, you're going to close, okay? So you're either going to buy to close or sell to close. For the most part, you're going to be buying to open, and then to exit, you're going to be selling to close, 
okay that's it I just kind of want to go over the functionality like I said not super in-depth about what any of this stuff means if you guys have any questions um, let me know down in the comments also if you guys have seen this video how to get fidelity options trading approval if you follow the steps in this video TD Ameritrade has a very similar process I don't remember exactly what it looks like um, I think it's a little bit easier to get approved on TD Ameritrade uh, I don't know that for sure so don't quote me on that but if you follow the steps that I outlined in this video, with the, like the income um, and your options trading experience, basically all the things that I hit in that video, uh, you should be able to get approved on TD Ameritrade as well. So um, that is a wrap on this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.